2005 air conditioning cabin filter replacement. So on this one, it was two screws, one right here. There's the other one and it's located where you see those two holes are right there, right there and right there. Then you have the clips and where did my clips fall out? You have the two clips that are located up top that need to be depressed. You push in the center. This releases them so they could be pulled out. Then you can wedge them out. Then you have the two tabs on the side with your two hands pushing this tab, pushing this tab. You see where it says air flow down? You come out. And if you look at this one, they got one of the HEPA filters, but this is a dirty one. This is a tight weave filter, so that gray that you see on there is clogged with air. I could hear the difference. You can actually hear when a filter is restrictive because the fan works harder and it's like cavitation with a water pump. You get cavitation of the blower fan motor and you can hear it with your ears. It's actually audible and uh, that's the difference between somebody who has trained ears and who's somebody who doesn't. And uh, and you'll feel a lot of airflow on your hand. You go, oh, that's good enough. No, that's not good enough. And you'll see they'll have an airflow. Oh, <laughs> and you'll see they have an airflow sticker. So even an idiot can't get it, uh, you know, wrong. But in this case, they got it wrong. They had it in like that. The airflow goes down in the other direction. See these arrows right here? This filter belongs like this. But instead, they mounted it like this. And uh, okay, I won't say no more. Um, and that's it. It's an easy in and out deal. And in this case, the customer needs one because I could hear it. And uh, some of you can't hear it, but hopefully you can train your ears over the number of years listening to the difference of a clogged air filter or semi-clogged air filter and a brand new fresh one. There is a difference in the sound. And uh, there will be those people who say there's no difference. That's because they're incapable of hearing the difference. That's their problem, not mine. Uh, the same goes for some vacuum pumps. You can hear the difference when it goes into a deep micron pull. Now, you would do this with a micron gauge on there so you can prove it, but you can hear it. There's a few certain compressors that once it hit around over under 500 microns, there's an audible difference in the harmonics, the tone, of the pump pumping that I could hear. And uh, I told this to somebody in the Max convention one time who's way up there in experience. They write articles and they're well known. I won't mention who they are a long time. This is many, many, many years ago. And I told him about this and he published an article that you cannot tell and you cannot use the sound of a vacuum pump to tell if you were pulling a complete vacuum or not, if it's correct. And uh, unfortunately, like all the other people who lack knowledge and experience, he did not use a micron gauge on every vehicle every time for the last 30 plus years and can actually prove, document, and data record exactly when a vacuum pump would go into this audible area on the certain model vacuum pump. And uh, just wrote an article that says you can't use that method. Well, that's what happens with lack of knowledge experience and actually owning the test equipment and using it on a daily basis between somebody who's just a pincher pusher behind a table and somebody who's really out in the field all right see you guys